Okay, welcome back to another episode of Versus Umbra. So, uh, let's see, where did I pick up where we left off? Uh, so let's begin. Uh, just one moment. Okay, everything is good. Alright, let's begin. Play the game. And load the game. So this is what we were going to do. Alright, and so, uh, um, last time we did a bit of armor, I think, but again, just didn't forget to save that, but anyways, just cause a little bit of Adventium. Uh, another thing, Adventium is used to get, um, upgrades for pretty much anything, really, once you can lock a weapon or a new armor set, so that's basically what it is. Kind of like currency or like money in a way. So yeah, that's, uh, important to know. So, this is the next plant we're going to go on. Uh, let's check our armory and weapons. So, these are all our weapons. We have some pretty good ones. Um, and yeah. So, I think that we should be ready to go to the next planet. Gizmo. Alright. Alright, mission objective. Um, then you ship from enemies. Complete the level without taking more than 30 damage. 30 damage. Um, we can try. I don't know if we'll get this done. I'm gonna try though, but we'll see what happens. I'm about to halt the evasion of poorly trained soldiers. Bring back something from the gift shop. <laughs> Alright. We need to try not to take too much damage. So, might be a bit difficult, but. I'm gonna try.
this is just empty. Oh, hey, we did it. Can we just see this book in the shop the next time? Nice. Took a bit of time to do it, but it is possible, and yeah. Alright. Good, good. Okay, so, anyways, uh, let's just place the leveling up the uh, new weapon we got out. So, yeah. Uh, number four, right here. We got. Oh, we got a relic. Um. Not sure what we got, but it looks like uh, there's options if you wanted to hold a balloon, have a different um, head and costume, etc. Just extra stuff you can have. It's not that important, it's just collectibles. I don't really care that much about that, but anyways. Um, yeah, so I guess you just collect them randomly. Right I don't know if there's actually any way to do it, like, uh, if you wanted to collect all of them, we probably will eventually, yeah. But anyways, um, so yeah, let's keep going. Okay. Why does it take 55 minutes to create a relic? Oh, interesting, I didn't know that. Seems like an unbelievable symmetric number. So I guess it does take time to collect all the relics if you wanted to. Um, interesting. Haha. <laughs> right. And now we're gonna get multiple targets. Alright, awesome. So, uh, I think we'll go uh, along like a straight line. Um, compared to the shotgun, it's not exactly the same, but then again. Uh, I don't know, it's pretty good, so. Yeah, but it doesn't have a spread shot, so that's like the only thing. Um, so yeah. Not the 
best. Um, mostly I prefer the beam rifle to the real gun. Uh, this thing is kind of a, I don't know, it's like a spread shot type of weapon where it's like you can protect multiple enemies at the same time, but it doesn't do a ton of damage. Per rate of, the rate of damage is not the best, I think. But it's okay. But for now, I suppose. But after a while, it's not going to be as good. Alright, so we're going to just level that up for a bit, so we will continue. Alright. Oh, look at that, we got a little thing. Uh, oh, oh, it up too. That was nice. Uh, alright. Alright, nice. We got a hell of a level up. Both the split on impact, extra ammunition. Okay, so now it's a little better. That's good, but still almost out of ammo already. Alright, switching for the shotgun again. Let's do this. 
And try to get the mission done. Alright. Here we go. 
really messed up there. Let's see, this should help do a lot of damage per second. 
I also don't slow it down a bit, it would be really useful. So, let's do that. Alright. Okay. Alright, let's switch to another weapon. Let's see. Hmm. What's there gonna be tunes? This does a nice amount of damage, but I don't know. And this is a wonderful one. I think we're gonna use this. Okay. 